Take two. How to use a brush with pass in Illustrator. I'm using a spiral in this case, but you can use, of course, any other path as well. Now, key thing here is the brushes panel, which you can find in the window menu, and you want to load some brushes. Just go to the right side menu, maybe use the other library functionality, or just select one of the brushes that comes with Illustrator. There's thousands and thousands of brushes available on the Graphic Extras website. Whole loads of them. 16,000 brushes, all vector designs that you can use. Another panel that's pretty useful is the Properties panel, and that's a recent addition to Illustrator. And just go there, you can select a different brush. There's a whole range of brushes. You can see there in the actual preset drop down. But there's the brushes panel there. Now, once you've actually done that, you can see you've got the spiral there. Like I say, could be used with any other type of thing, stars, circles, designs, just standard lines. Now, double click on the actual brush in the presets panel, and you can use different options for the width. Some are using fixed, and you can vary the size. You can increase the size, decrease the size. You can create some really abstract designs just by increasing it really large, or you just make it more like a, a standard brush by keeping it fairly small. So you can just reduce the size down there. Also, you can modify various things. You've got scale proportionality, and also stretch to fit. That's a nice one as well. You can modify there, and you can just see different results. And you can also use tints using the method, etc. in the colorization. I'm just going to go with just none at this point, but so you can just use that. But another one's quite interesting is the stretch between guides. Now that's quite useful, especially with this one where you've got a lot of not very much in the, in the middle bit. So what you can do, just select that option, just click there, and you can see then the result. You've got that large two end bits just there, and you've got it stretched out in the middle. You can actually modify those just by using those little guides there. You can just move those, and it can really vary the, the brush just by changing those, just push that up. So that middle bit that's got very little in, you can actually reduce, and you've obviously got those really large end bits there, just at the end of the brush straight. So that's a really quick and easy way of putting some interesting designs just from the same brush. Basically, that's it, just run through. And of course, you can still vary the size, and all those sorts of things. Again, you can go back there, scale portion it, and I say it creates a really interesting oddball part as well. You go for a very large setting like this one. So it's not really like a brush stroke particularly. You can see it's more, so, but you can, like I say, use it with line segments and just click there and apply that. But I like it with spirals and circles and those sort of designs. Once you're actually, you're happy with it, but you can do object expand appearance. Now one thing with this is it actually does create a lot of paths and perhaps a lot of points. You might want to use some like simplify feature so you can reduce it down if you want that. Something like astute graphics tool. Now you can also recolor the artwork using the edit menu. So just go there and you can run through all different colors. Now if you don't want it just blue, you can actually just go drop down there. You've got different color jobs and all those sort of things. And you've got different different armies there and just run through those. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.